Hello YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, if you like content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and hit that notification bell. On today's video, we're gonna be replacing the alternator on my son's 2015 Hyundai Elantra. I'm Jerry, and I'm living the Nukem life. All right, guys, so the first thing that we have to do is uh, disconnect the negative um, terminal to the battery. That is a 10 millimeter socket. And then we just have to remove this engine cover um, it's on four posts you just pull straight up and it comes off pretty easy it just mounts on these four posts right here one two three four and now the alternator on the engine is set up right here it has a few bolts and these electrical connectors that we're going to have to remove. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are two tabs on the edges there on each side. You just really just have to press in one of those tabs and it'll come out of that little bracket right there. Pretty easy. Now, next we're going to remove this piece right here so that we can get to that nut. Pretty easy to get to. And then we just have to remove this electrical connection. And it's just a standard connector. And you just wanna check it and make sure that there's no debris and that it's clean on both sides. Okay, so now we're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket to pull that bolt out. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna to have to remove um, this nut right down here, right down there. And that's gonna take a 12 millimeter socket. And then we'll do the same with that uh, long bolt right there. So this is the long bolt in the back and this one takes a 14 millimeter socket. So that whole piece is loose now. I'm going to take that bolt out so that we don't lose it. Okay, so now we're at the point to where we can um, remove the belt from the pulley here. And then an option is to just zip tie it up here. That way it still keeps tension on the system and it doesn't have a chance of coming loose. So. Okay. So sometimes your alternator can stick because it's been on there for so long, but this one seems to be moving just a touch, so we're hoping that's going to help us to actually remove it. Okay, so the alternator is not cooperating, so we're gonna put a pry bar back in that little gap there, and that should assist us in getting it out of there. Mm 
so I don't know if you guys saw that, but it gets really close to this right here, which is the um, the AC, and this little connector right here. It it gets really close. It went in fine, but you just want to be mindful not to damage those. And now you basically just reverse the process of what we just did. All right, now we're working on that front bolt. We got the back bolt snug, and now we're putting that front bolt back in. So once we attached uh, the rear bolt and the front bolt, we removed the belt from the zip ties and we had to finagle it a little, little bit by lowering the tensioner screw until we got the belt back on completely. And then we retightened the tensioner screw out to the level that it's supposed to be at. And now we're just gonna tight, finish tightening up all of the, the bolts. That's not going in. The new bolt that was sent by the uh, company is a 13 millimeter rather than the previous 12 millimeter. Not too tight, <laughs> just enough to keep it on there, but so that it's not shaking around. Plug in the electrical connection. All right, now we just got to reconnect the battery. All right guys, so um, as you saw, we just successfully uh, changed out the alternator on my son's 2015 Hyundai Elantra. Um, everything went smooth and if you guys try this, uh, try to leave a comment for me below uh, to let me know if this video helped. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps our channel grow. And hit that notification bell so you're up to date on all of our upcoming videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.